everyone welcome back to my channel my name is rosemary this is rosemary's you rock art if you are returning thank you thank you thank you i truly appreciate it if you're checking this out for the first time i hope you stick around please consider hitting that subscribe button like comment share and hit that bell so you're notified anytime i upload a new video I have a Hobby Lobby haul and um, I've done some organizing in my craft room and I want to share that with you. I went to Hobby Lobby because I needed some white cardstock. This was 50% off and I think I paid about $5.50 for this for 100 sheets, 8.5 by 11. This size seems to work out a lot better than the 12 by 12. I have less waste, uh, at least with the crafting that I do, card making and stuff like that. Um, I also needed pink, so I got this pack that has pink in it, and it has a lot of other springy colors, so I thought I'd pick that up. This was, well, up here it says it's uh, $6, $5.99, paid 50% off of that, and you get 50 sheets. So I thought, yeah, I can use some more of those colors. And then I also saw this pale pink and more pastel-y colors. Again, 50% off, 8.5 by 11. So I needed some solid cardstock, so I, I picked that up. I also picked up this pump. I did not even know they had this kind of thing at Hobby Lobby, but it's for, um, I think, like perfume making or I'm not sure, but I needed a pump for my facial wash. So picked that up. That was two bucks. I have been working on painting and embellishing little birdhouses that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, and I'll be showing you that in a minute. Uh, but I needed a little tiny bird. I had bought some birds from Dollar Tree, but they were like a big compared to what I needed them for. So at Hobby Lobby, I found these cute little birds. They are adorable. I hope you can see all the colors. There's a purple, green, and yellow. And they are so cute. They're perfect for the birdhouse that I made. And then I found these little birds in the miniature section. So these birds were in the floral section and I just thought they were perfect, perfect for what I needed. Okay, um, I'm going to um, stop the camera, restart it and show you the baskets and bins I got at Hobby Lobby and uh, show you how I incorporated those in my craft room and how I've used them to organize certain crafty and tools. All right, I wanted to point out this shelf. Uh, I picked this up from the county courthouse. They're gonna throw it out. It is a perfectly good metal shelf. And I picked it up originally because I thought my husband could use it in his garage. Well, he didn't end up using it. And I was telling him that I really wanted something for where you know right where I sit so I sit right there and I have my iPad right there when I do my videos and I said I really wanted um, something right there I had my two little carts right there but it was really not what I wanted and it was kind of messy in my opinion so I wanted something a little bit you know uh, I just needed something different that would keep my stuff slightly more organized so he said, I think the shelf is the right size. Well, it ended up being perfect. So I'm just going to come in a little closer and point out some things. Uh, this R I picked up at Hobby Lobby a while back, and my husband painted it white. And then I put together that You Rock Art with tile pieces. He, um, my husband gave me this beautiful copper uh, bowl last anniversary, so a year ago. And then I keep my Scrabble pieces in it. A dear friend of mine uh, gave us that rock concert back there. So cute. Uh, here's my little bee that uh, my dear friend Kim made me. And then my other sweet friend Kimmy from Kimmy's Kitchen sent me that little warmer that my little bee sits on. That little plaque was made from my sweet friend Michelle. Be safe, be happy, be positive little sign. And right here, this little spin organizer thing, I keep all my markers, my furniture markers that I use for crafting, um, paint markers. Oh, these are my favorite glitter 
markers from Dollar Tree. These are really nice. Um, gel pens and favorites uh, are Sharpies. Yeah, I love that. And of course, they have the little drawers underneath it too. All right. These are the baskets that I just purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now, this is a pack of, of baskets. It comes with this large basket and it comes with two rectangular baskets. You don't have to keep them, you know, nestled, nested inside, but I did. And then I'll show you the other uh, three that come with it. So in here, I keep everything that I use for sending out friend mail, like thank you cards and little notes. There's my tape runner right there, and that just fits in there perfectly. Here's another type of basket that I just purchased. I got three of these, and I love the, they're sturdy. They're real sturdy baskets, and they were also, everything was 40% off. I keep my notebooks in here, the notebooks. Um, you know, this is friend mail that I'm sending out to who and when. These are what I do on my channel, Thursdays, tunes, blah, 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 that kind of thing. This is a list of people that have ever um, entered giveaways, and I have their addresses here. A guitar picks that I send out, and some bubble gum back there. Not bubble gum, but just gum. And then this is just another little stand. Here are the other... Uh, you get two little bins along with the large and two rectangle and then two little square ones. So in this one, I keep face wipes, lip gloss, chapstick, lotion. And then in the one behind it, I have air fresheners. So I like, I like to have a fresh smelling bathroom. And then here is the fourth basket. So again, you get the large, two of these and two square ones. And then this one, I keep uh, just paper so I can write down little notes, some sticky notes and stuff like that. Here is the second one that looks like that one. This one, I want to take, pull it out and put it on my craft table and show you how I organized it. So again, this basket is just a opened basket. In it, I purchased four of these little baskets. They're little, let's see if I can pull one out without causing a big old wreck of a mess. They're little baskets like this. They're really little. They're so cute. And I needed them because I wanted to keep, here's all my glue that I use regularly, Mod Podge, uh, tacky glue, um, glossy accents. I always have a glue stick in here. And then, oops, that just jumped out and I'm not gonna pick it up. It's a little silicone um, uh, scraper thing that I use to hold down stuff as it's gluing. Uh, pe extra pens and pencils there. In this little, so four of them fit in here just right. So in here is scrapers, my phone folder, a scraper for my glass mat. I don't know what that little container is there for. Uh, and then in this one, this one up front, and I keep closest to me, are my favorite pens that I have right there handy. So I'm going to put that right back where it, whoop, my glasses are in the way. And I keep my Low Vision Aid glasses tucked right there because I use them a lot. Okay, next shelf down. I had this, it's like a shoe, sh a shoe shining kind of little bin all my glitter glue in that isn't that pretty and then extra glitter glue in this bin now these came from hobby lobby this time around again 40 percent off these are meant for napkins forks spoons and knives i guess because they were like in where that stuff is like the kitchen things but in here i put extra glitter glue that i really loved like the clear and silver my tape there's one that fell down. I really liked the clear, and you can use that for a bunch of stuff, so I made sure to get extra. And then my masking tape. Here I have glitter uh, glue sticks, glossy accent pins, so all in there, and then I have an extra bin. In this one, I have a spray bottle right here for distress inks, and then 
some extra little tools in these little container things and I just love the little containers so I have like um, uh, exacto knife kind of things in those ones and then up on this side of it where it has the three compartments my favorite pens I keep extra favorite pens in here that I haven't even opened scissors that have the designs on them all of those I don't use that stuff too much and then in the back bin are just other little tools that I could use for crafting. An empty bin. Now this is the third one that I got because I have one right there and right there. I love these. These are so nice. They're a wonderful size. I already had this bin so I didn't uh, feel like I had to replace it. Uh, so this one has my little bowls. Now I keep stuff that I find on the floor which is quite often uh, things that I've dropped and I need to put back or some of these are used for uh, when I'm crafting and I have little things and I keep it on my craft table so it doesn't fall and uh, get lost. Now I'm working on a project where I'm going to be using this bow and that other little piece in there so I have that there. So that sits just right right there and then on the bottom shelf I have all my little machines. This is an embossing folder only machine, which is a boutique, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's, a, it's an embossing uh, machine. And my uh, dear friend Pat, her husband's in our band, Neil's wife, gave me that. And I thought that was so sweet. This is a, uh, my husband just bought me this for Christmas, my uh, Big Shot fold away, love that. And then I did get this at Hobby Lobby for really, really a, a super duper price, the Gemini Go. And then in this bag, I have my plates. So that's there. Right back there is a pencil sharpener and it's cord, and I don't use that too often. In these bags here, I have two. They're not identical, but they, I mean, because of the color. But I got these bags from my dear friend Diana, and she sells 31. And that's what those are. And what I keep in this one is my tape runner and my, uh, oh gosh, I just lost the word what this is, uh, lint roller. That's what that is. <laughs> and then in this side, I have my fuse tool in this bag, all the little parts for that, and my blow dryer and my label maker. And then on the side of each, each of these bags, there's little pockets. In this first pocket, I have uh, like uh, little lamps you can use on your forehead to get more light, uh, lighters that go right, I mean lighters, flashlights that I have in that pocket. And then on the other side, uh, do I have something in here? Yes, another little lamp that I can use on my forehead for light. And then just some ties, like hair ties. So that one goes right there. In this next bag, I have um, glue guns. I have several glue guns um, and a glue pen. So, and then glitter glue sticks are in this little uh, container there. I have different glue guns because I used glitter glue sticks in one glue gun. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, these are these um, pastry paper squares. So if I'm using a lot of glue and stuff, I put those down to protect surfaces. On this side is my new glue gun, which is the cordless one, and everything for that. And then on the side, I have this silicone. Here's another one. I dropped it. Uh, these are for face masks, but I use it when I'm uh, trying to hold something down that's hot. So if I've just hot glued something, I can hold it down with a, a silicone spatula. Uh, little clippies to keep things clipped on. And then in this side, I have more glue sticks. And on in here are those finger protectors. And I never could get used to those, but I have them in there. So that is what's on this shelf. And then on the side of the shelf, I wanna show you this prettiness, are the tassels that my dear friends have sent me. So I hope you can see those, cause I'm at an odd angle for that. So there's some tassels that my friends have sent me. So that's what I wanted to show you 
you know, the, the baskets and bins that I got at Hobby Lobby. The next section I kind of revamped was the top of this toolbox. It just had so much stuff on it, it was stressing me out. So I cleaned it up quite a bit and I just put my two tier tray on there and then these four kind of patriotic uh, pieces. I did get that little house at Hobby Lobby and then um, that was given to me, that little bicycle. And then up here I was going to point out, I got that little uh, tiered thing, this little red tier thing at Target just recently. But what I wanted to point out was my little birdhouse that I made. Uh, I didn't make the birdhouse. I, I decorated it. I painted it, glittered it up, and I put some flowers and then that moss stuff from Dollar Tree. And that's why I wanted the little birds from Hobby Lobby that I just purchased because I want to put one right there. So that's why I needed that size. But you can get these uh, birdhouses that are unpainted at Dollar Tree. And I have a few more that I'm going to uh, be doing. And again, I put the moss that you can get from the floral uh, garden section at Dollar Tree. And then those flowers were sent to me by uh, Gail and Janet. And then I just painted it up. And then that little bell was given to me by my dear friend Deb. So cool, cool. I, and Deb gave me that little bicycle. I believe it was Deb. I know for sure she gave me this little... Uh, trailer uh, and then in here I have these foam stars that are red white and blue for crafting okay in this space right here where I have these two carts um, I had an M&M huge huge M&M guy that my dear friend um, Margie sent me and he's huge and at the top there's a little bin area and I had all my ribbon there well that was the only storage he had. And I will put a picture of him at the end of this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it was kind of wasted space. But the m, &M guy is gonna go uh, in my covered uh, patio and I'm gonna be putting some plants in him. So I wanna show you how I organized these um, carts. Now I just got these tops for the carts, these wood uh, covers. They come from Michael's and they are $9.99 each. And I thought that was a great, great thing. I really like it. So in this basket, I have my red, white, and blue yarn. Just my red, white, and blue yarn and my red, white, and blue little gnome. He sits right there. I'm going to move him for a second or move this basket. Um, this pillow that my sister gave me uh, from sea to shining sea. Love it. Okay, so she got that at the, at the thrift store for me. And then, so these covers fit, well, they're made for these carts. This one, I have, oops, some extra straws in there that I was just gifted. I can put this back on with one hand. That ain't working there really well. Okay, there we go. Um, this um, planter is kind of special to me. That was... Uh, given to me by my uh, best friend Camille and it had a beautiful plant which died but it was given to me when my father passed away and I just love it and in here I have all my bows that I use for tassel making go move that over there underneath here I have all not all my ribbon but I have a lot of my ribbon organized there on the second shelf is more ribbon and my Sweet Fred, now he was given to me, he's a cute polar bear, he was given to me by my dear friend Linda over at Linda's Thrifty Life, and then more ribbon down here, so he just hangs out right there. On the other cart, I have projects that I have put together that I'm going to be working on, so you see that teddy bear there, you see a painted heart, a canvas, so those are upcoming projects that I want to work on are on that shelf. Uh, on this third shelf, on the red cart, there's curly ribbon. There's like the, I don't know what you call this stuff. Um, it looks like cotton candy, but it's fabric kind of stuff. Janet sent it to me. I have some um, leather ribbon, more ribbon. And then on this side, I have 
four of these containers, all the colors, there's the pink and the teal, and I have two purple ones, all tassel making items. Uh, here in these two jars that I got from Hobby Lobby are the tops of the tassel, the little clasps. And then fishing line for my tassel, so I have two spools of those. And that's what I have on these cards. And I really like the way it is better organized. And uh, it just, to me, my surfaces have to be pretty much cleaned off. Other than that, it just kind of, if it's too cluttery, it totally stresses me out. I cannot think. So um, I need to put my pillow back up. I'm going to put that back up real quick. So hopefully that'll be there. So to me, that is just much a cleaner look, better organized. And I really, really do like that. So, and um, yeah, anyway, I thought I'd show you the other items that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and then show you how I'm using them in my craft room. Oh, thank you so much for joining me for this Hobby Lobby uh, haul and uh, the craft room uh, tour kind of thing. Um, I thought it'd be kind of helpful to show you how I was using those baskets and incorporating them in my craft room. I, I, I really love them. They're really a good basket. Um, they have a lot of organizational things at Hobby Lobby, so it's always fun to look around and see what's going to be best for my craft room. I think, I think, you know, I kind of tweaked it again and yeah, I don't know. I just, I love organizing things. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I will be back on Monday with a BB Craft unboxing. Yeah. And uh, who knows, uh, may have a little extra things going on as well. Be safe, be happy, be positive. And until next time, you guys rock.